What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. All sorts of good stuff, space news going on over there in our forums. Uh, there's, a, there's this forum called the News Spot. A bunch of good people are over there posting stuff all the time. Here's some stuff I pulled from there. Just some other stuff that I thought was interesting. I haven't done a space news in a while. If you're new to my channel, every once in a while I come out and, you know, come into the old living room here. It's cold. We're about to get slammed by, uh, I think it says 8 to 12 inches of snow. So we'll see if I have internet. Um, this right here is beautiful. Man. This is a picture taken from, uh, I guess this was a Chandra X-ray observer observatory took this in 2012 and just put this out i think that's what it said it was um let's see it's of g 299.2-2.1 is the name of the supernova that it took the picture of it's gorgeous isn't that awesome so interesting stuff one of uh one of basically obama's counsel john podesta come out and said uh biggest failure was not securing the disclosure of the UFO files. Now, he had also been a uh, chief of staff to the White House during the Bill Clinton years. I mean, that's no no small potatoes when it comes to politics. And here was his tweet. Finally, my biggest failure of 2014. Once again, not securing the disclosure of the UFO files. And uh, he's got the number disclosure there. Oh, we know how to use hashtags. There we go. The truth is still out there. Another hashtag. And, of course, some uh, New York Times stuff. But... That's somebody who is a pretty big wig there. So, um, you know, a lot of guys have come out, you know, when they're leaving government. Um, well, Stephen Greer, Dr. Stephen Greer had that whole thing down there in D.C. where uh, people came in. It was kind of like a mock Congress, and they talked about it. Army generals, people worked in the military, other air traffic controllers, certain things, they, certain people who have, who have seen UFOs had said they testified to basically that they had messed with our nuclear, uh, you know, our nuclear missiles, that they came and shut down some of our silos and things like that. All this thing came out. If you Basically, if you search the, uh, it was a disclosure meeting or something down on, it, basically, if you type in DC disclosure, you're going to find it, especially if you put Stephen Greer's name in there. But uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. At least he came out and tweeted. Not, you know, t he's a lawyer, so w whatever you want to think of them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Check this out. Mystery Mars Haze Baffle Scientist. Now, this was back in 2012. Um, and here it is down here off it. I hadn't heard about this till recently. The plume appeared twice in 2012 and stretched for basically 1,000 kilometers. Check it out here. It is basically, I believe, at night. You can see it coming off there. And this is pretty big. Now, mysterious haze high above the Mars has left scientists scratching their heads. The vast plume was initially spotted by amateur astronomers in 2012 and appeared twice before vanishing. Scientists have now analyzed the images and say that the formation stretching more than 100 or more than 1,000 kilometers is large than anything seen before. So this thing's bigger than anything they've ever seen coming out of Mars. Um, the researchers believe the plume could also be a cloud or exceptionally bright aurora. However, they are unsure how these could have formed in the thin upper reaches of the Martian atmosphere. It raises more questions than answers. See, this is one thing to tell you. We don't know much about this planet. I think that we're going to find out more and more as we go forward that uh, Mars is a lot more like Earth, and it's a lot... It, a lot more like Earth than we think, you know, especially even to this day. So interesting stuff there. Let's keep on moving. This was in my hometown right around the corner here. Um, I live about 10 minutes from the beach. And this is the beach I live by. UFO sighting. I thought that was kind of cool when my buddy sent this on Facebook. A woman woke up in the early morning around 4 a.m. She witnessed the light between her blinds and decided to check it out because she found the moon. Upon taking a closer light, looked at the blinds, she realized the shape was entirely wrong and lacking the significant detail as the surface of the moon typically would. So let's take a look at some of her pictures here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit with my keyboard in the thing. That's just one. Uh, not much there to be seen on that one. Oops, I should have just hit it from here. Next. Interesting. You can see like the condo down there. Now that one's pretty cool. That's the best quality one out of the bunch. I've already looked at these. And down here you can see a building across the street. UFO sightings, I tell you, that uh, just around where I am recently, they're up. 
I don't know if they are around where you guys are, but check out. This is one of the websites, ufostalker.com, that, that just kind of goes through them. You can find them. You can search on here and find where you are by map, by you know your zip code, wherever. I think maybe around the world, too. Um, so let's see. There's been 21 other sightings in Ocean City, Maryland. Check this out. NASA wants to send a submarine. Basically, here we go. To Titan. And here's their animation that they did. The moon is home to liquid methane seas. And the animation developed by, for NASA's Innovation Advanced Concept Program. A submersible is used to study the shoreline and liquid methane depths. Credit goes to NASA Glenn Research Center. This was pretty cool. I love when they put up stuff like this. This is just to get our money. But Titan seems to be somewhere we, everybody's interested in. Um, they think there's water under there, maybe methane. Every... I'll leave the link in there. You guys can watch it if you want. So we plan on, we basically plan on sending here a little bit further of it. A little bit further. You know, just going to check it out. How much would that be? Let's see. Curiosity was something, 2.5 billion. Imagine what it'll cost to do this. I don't know if we're going to get there, folks. I hope we can. It will definitely cost us. So let's see. One more thing for you. Prize Mars. One colony project cuts applicant pool to 100 volunteers. Um, I was just reading the other day, I should have put this in the news, that uh, there was a girl who wanted to be one of the first people to have a baby on Mars. So she was you know, vying to be in the top 100. I wonder if she made it. Um, the Netherlands-based nonprofit Mars One, which aims to land four pioneers on the Red Planet 2025 as the vanguard of a permanent colony, has whittled its pool of astronaut candidates down to 100. All right, more than two, I can't believe this, 200,000 people signed up to go one way, it was going to be a one-way deal. Um, so let's see, the large cut in candidates is important step forward, finding out who has the right stuff to go to Mars. So I guess the remaining pool consists of 50 men and 50 women in ages from 19 to 60. So not too far off, 2025 will be here before we know. What do you guys think about that? Had anybody, anybody, my subscribers, comment if you actually signed up and sent a video in. I'd love to see your videos if you guys did, because uh, out of 200,000 people, I know one of my subscribers had it was trying to go. I thought about it for a little bit there, but um, too much keeping me here. You got to make videos for you lovely people, you know what I mean? All right, let me go back to our lovely uh, supernova here as we sign off. What's up in the sky.com? Like I said, all sorts of good people put. It's not just me posting my videos there. I've got the guys uh, from the space groups on Facebook that do it. A whole bunch of good people. Um, if you look at my channels, if you go to my channel and hit channels I support, a lot of those people post their videos up there. I'm going to start posting some more documentaries and stuff like that that I find interesting. So much love to you. Have a good one. There's your space news. Kept it quick for you. Happy having a good one. We're going to see. Hopefully my foot is snow. I'll leave you a little bit of foot of snow video. <laughs>